नमो बुथाय वी कंटिन्यू आवर लर्निंग्स फ्रॉम द धम्मपाद एंड दिस इज वर्स टू एटी वन टू थ्री हंड्रेड दैट आई कवर इन दिस वीडियो माय लर्निंग्स आर बेस्ड फ्रॉम दिस बुक द धम्मपाद बाय एकनाथ ईश्वरन दिस इज अ वेरी गुड बुक यू कैन बाय दिस बुक एंड रीड सो एंड देर इज ऑल्सो अ कम्प्लीट प्ले लिस्ट ऑन माई चैनल नेम्ड धम्मपाद and in that playlist you will find verse wise videos that are available right so let us start uh, verse 281 uh, so we are carrying about the buddha is buddha's uh, the theme of these verses mainly is about the path right the noble eightfold path that buddha has given so buddha says verse 281 uh, guard your thoughts words and deeds these three disciplines will speed you along the path to pure wisdom guard that is guarding means what my understanding is is that being mindful right so mindfulness what it does it's like a watchman so you have these sense so we have five sense doors the seeing is, is the seeing hearing smell taste touch through these sense doors and through the contact of the objects our latent defilements they generate right what mindfulness does is it guards so if i am mindful right now right right now definitely i am mindful because i am making this video but in my talking right so i make this video and i end this video and then i go and talk to my family and then i become unmindful and that unmindfulness can cause me to do gossip negative things anger so what we have to do and buddha's path is very clear what buddha said in the satipatthana sutra is mindfulness of the four objects right the the body mind the body feelings mind objects of the mind right all the four things being mindful is the direct path of liberation and for ending of the suffering so coming back and relating this to this is guarding our thoughts words the deeds right action right speech and right mindfulness theek okay? hai or right thinking right intention all this are relating back to the noble eightfold path so that mindfulness will help speed us along the path of the pure wisdom so verse 282 buddha says meditation brings wisdom lack of meditation leaves ignorance know well what leads you forward and what holds you back and choose the path that leads to wisdom so here my 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 view is what buddha is saying meditation is not just the formal sitting meditation that we do it's basically being mindful satipatthana again coming back to the mindfulness of the four things right this mindfulness the meditation that is also meditation no brings wisdom and lack of wisdom leaves ignorance right and ignorance is the cause of sorrow so buddha is like uh, nudging us that no the path you have two paths one is taking you forward out of suffering another is taking you into ignorance and on sorrow be careful of what the path will take you to and choose the path that leads to wisdom buddha says 243 283 uh, verse buddha says cut down the whole forest of selfish desires not just one tree only cut down the whole forest and you will be on your way to liberation so our desires our cravings our clingings they causes us suffering so buddha is like goading us he is encouraging us that don't just cut one tree in this life only just cut the entire forest of sufferings be totally selfless whatever you do it should not be through due to any craving or you just live life you know without any desires right this is what i am also learning on my path how to be desire less while living in a family life for a monastic it is easy right because they have very few needs they depend on arms but in a life where we have to manage everything earn money also put the food on the table not easy right so i am also learning i am on my path but how you know thinking how best i can be selfless in whatever i am doing you know this is what i am also learning right so verse 284 to 285 buddha says if there is any trace of lust in your mind you are bound to life like a suckling calf to its mother right like a calf a newborn calf you know it just keeps on sucking the mother's nipples right so just for the milk so that way we will be bound to this samsara right 
so there is one very uh, good line that some i read somewhere on instagram that you have to genuinely leave you know decide determine yourself to leaving samsara and then only you have to you will you will be able to leave samsara samsara is hindi word for sansar this cycle of world the births and deaths right so if there is any trace of lust you will be bound how important is that any trace of lust so we need to purify 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 ourselves so much that the entire trace of these things they if there is one trace left will be remain bound so buddha verse 285 buddha says pull out every selfish desire as you would an autumn lotus with your hand follow the path to nirvana with a guide with a guide who knows the way so guide is our teacher our master teacher buddha right so just follow the path with a guide with our teacher what the teacher has given us we have to just follow that this is my understanding guide means buddha um, you may have a different understanding i don't know but i will say that there are many smaller guides that are there but our ultimate guide is buddha and we have to just follow what buddha said verse 286 i will make this wind my winter home have another house for the monsoon and dwell in a third during a summer lost in such fancies one forgets his final destination beautiful that you try to make destinations here and you what what would that do you have three houses you have four houses you have 10 houses so still the suffering will not go we have to realize that this is not our house don't get attached to anything let it flow if you get the money build a house no problem but don't attach yourselves and plan ourselves you know plan too much on doing this creating that thiknat han the buddhist monk uh, zen master thiknat han beautifully says about the quality of aimlessness not having any particular goal in life because when we have the goal what my understanding is that all our energies get directed towards that worldly goal whereas this world is the is sorrow so we have to just leave that worldly goals let everything happen as it is happening and focus on our one goal which is to achieve liberation free from suffering that goal and in that meeting that goal if anything like worldly things happen let them happen right okay a uh, verse 287 buddha says death comes and carries off a man absorbed in his family and possessions as the monsoon flood sweeps away the this is deep as the monsoon flood sweeps away a sleeping village sorry i didn't complete this is deep when death comes and friends death can come any time we cannot it's like not that you know we know when it is coming we may die the next moment and when death comes it's over then it depends which realm we, we, we there is again i am relating it to the realms of existence and why the human life is so precious we have come in this human life we have got the fantastic opportunity a very 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 rare opportunity to listen to the dharma to practice the dharma and achieve full liberation it is said that we can only achieve full liberation from the human birth right so don't waste this because when death comes it will carries of a man absorbed in family possession see family and all these things will be there career relationships health these small botherations small other other botherations will be there what we have to now be free from all these in hindi there is a word chakallas chakallas right it's like all these botherations all this nonsense be do all the duties but be fixed in that goal of liberation sweeps away like a sleeping village the entire village gets you know you know taken away so that that is the power of death which is mara is also said to be the ruler of death right verse 288 289 neither children nor parents can rescue whom death has seized think about a person who is death who 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 is you know whose time has come nobody nobody can you know bring life sorry bring life back on in that person so so that is the power of death nobody can force him away from the from the fetters of chains of death neither children nor parents can rescue one whom death has seized remember this and follow without delay the path 
that leads to nirvana right so don't delay that's the message now there are some varied verses uh, from 290 onwards uh, if one who enjoys a lesser happiness beholds a greater one let him leave aside the lesser to gain the greater so lesser is the pleasure of the world greater happiness is the is the search the path of dharma right which leads to a greater good which leads to removing of ignorance so buddha is saying if who enjoys lesser happiness beholds a greater one well, like he lets go of the lesser happiness and take uh, you know adopts a greater happiness maybe becomes a monk which is not necessary we can live in a family life and do everything practice the dharma but let him do that right verse 291 don't try to build your happiness on the unhappiness of others you will be enmeshed in a net of hatred so when we when we try to build our happiness at the cost of other happiness what happens is so it's like the polarity it's like when i do these actions then correspondingly the others hatred also rises of me and oh, and that hatred that i have caused due to my unwholesome actions will bind them and you know can cause cause us to born in lower realms and see the suffering what we have infl- inflicted on others there is always this consequence that comes of karma right verse 292 do not fail to do what ought to be done do not do what ought not to be done otherwise your burden of suffering will grow heavier right do not fail to do what ought to be done that is practicing the dharma practice the way doing our family responsibilities and do not do what ought not to be done that is don't do like things like killing stealing you know lying all these things otherwise the burden will increase buddha is just saying i'm just telling you the solution so it's like you eat a lot of fried food junk food you your body will suffer your digestion will suffer those who meditate and keep their senses under control never fail to do what ought to be done Med- mindfulness right and never do what ought not to be done their suffering will come to an end step by step being mindful of every moment we release ourselves from suffering right verse 294 buddha is comparing buddha is saying kill mother lust and father self will kill the kings of carnal passions and you will be free from sin verse 295 to true bahman has killed mother lust and father self will he has killed the kings of carnal pleasures and the ego that obstructs him on the path such a one is freed from sin so buddha is saying about the characteristics of a true brahmin so buddha is saying one who kills the lust kills the self will the ego and the passions that is a true brahmin that person is free from freed from sin verse 296 uh, is here buddha talks about disciples the characteristics of the disciples so buddha says disciples of gautama are wide awake and vigilant with their thoughts focused on the buddha day and night mindful vigilant thoughts on the buddha the dis- verse 297 disciples of the gautama are wide awake and vigilant absorbed in the dharma day and night verse 298 disciples of gautama are wide awake and vigilant with their thoughts focused on the sangha day and night verse 299 the disciples of the Gu- buddha gautama are wide awake and vigilant with their thoughts focused on sense training day and night and verse 300 which is the last verse we will going to discuss the disciples of gautama are wide awake and vigilant rejo- rejoicing compassion day and night so their thoughts on the buddha on the dharma on the sangha so somewhere these are all linked when we are mindful we are accompanying buddha dharma sangha everything we just have to be mindful right so this is verse 281 to 300 i hope there was some takeaway for you from this uh, video uh, thank you so much and uh, do share your takeaways in the comment section or your thoughts or feedback or comments and i will be very happy to read them and reply to them uh, thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye